Meet the Asian nerd that studied his way to become one of the best dribblers on the planet. This man seemingly came out of nowhere this season to become one of the most dangerous, exciting, and dynamic players in all of the Premier League. And you've probably already seen this guy, but you probably didn't know his name at the time. Yeah, recognize him? If you watched the World Cup, this was the most iconic, and simultaneously the most insane about Matoma was his path to football greatness was achieved in the most Asian way possible. By studying at school. Yes, this man studied dribbling so hard that he became one of the best dribblers on the planet. So let's take you back to the start and tell you how he got here. But before we get into a super nerdy origin story, first, like FIFA, I gotta pay some bills. Oh hey, it's your number one fatty here. Now as you can see, I'm, I'm not quite so fat anymore. And I tried everything, but the only thing that worked and helped keep the weight off was keto, low carb. That is why I love Factor Meal Plans. And hey, it's a couple months into the new year, and I know you got goals. Maybe you packed on a few pounds over the holidays. I did. Well, look at you, Factor delivers delicious, never frozen meals to your door. Just pop a few holes, microwave that bitch, and you're eating. And you're eating good. And I know what you're thinking. Microwave food, it's it's got to be trash, right? No, actually, it's delicious and nutritious. I've been subscribed to them for over nine months now. Got my whole family hooked on it. My girlfriend keeps on stealing all of them. And it's just good, clean energy, which allows me more time to do the things that I actually need to do, like edit a video or go outside because winter apparently skipped New York this year. For once, I'm not mad at climate change. And hey, if keto isn't your thing, they got a bunch of other plans. They got veggie plus vegan, calorie smart, protein plus. Basically, any way you want to live your life, Factor has a meal plan that'll fit in with you. So head over to factor75.com and use the code BMINUS50 and you'll get a whopping 50% off your first box. The link is in the top of the doobly-doo. Once again, that is factor75.com and use the code BMINUS50 for 50% off your first box. You will not regret it. And just make your life more efficient and healthier in the new year. Thanks for Factor for sponsoring this video. Now, back to the show. Kaoru Matoma was born in Kanagawa Prefecture, Japan on May 20th, 1997. Kaoru showed talent from a young age and would be recruited into the local academy for Kawasaki Frontale, who are essentially the man city of Japan. Their recent dominance has been smothering, winning the last four titles out of five in the J-League. And after eight years in the academy, at the age of 18, he was offered to go pro with the senior team, where 99% of other talented footballers would jump at this chance, this is where Matoma took the path less traveled. Humbled by nature, he recognized that he was not yet physically ready to become a regular starter in the J-League. So instead, he opted to attend the University of Tsukaba, not only to study physical education, but to physically prepare his body to become a professional footballer. And it would be at Tsukaba where he would hone his now world-class dribbling skills, like Naruto under the tutelage of Jiraiya. And what might surprise some people is even though he was seen as a dribbling god now, Karu himself assessed that he was just a middle of the pack dribbler going into university, which is why he would go on and write his graduate thesis on the art of dribbling. And being Asian, you know he did his research, going as far as putting GoPros on all of his teammates' heads to see not only what made a good dribbler, but interestingly, he also wanted to know what made a poor dribbler. And what he found was a major key that good dribblers do is they keep their head up and were able to dribble and receive the ball without looking down, which led him to his major thesis in dribbling that he employs to this day. And that is, if you move the enemy's body, you win. So he drilled constantly until he was able to watch his opponent and only look down to receive the ball at the last moment, all in service of his main goal, changing the center of balance of his opponent. At a fundamental level, Mitoma didn't view dribbling as an art of attacking, but instead as an art of escape. He also studied many of the greats, Neymar being one of his favorites. And you can see through his grinding film, he's stolen some of his most effective moves from the Brazilian. And over his three years at university, he refined his technique to a kinetic science. By the time he finished his thesis, Mitoma said, quote, the power of my dribbling has doubled. The man was talking like Goku after training in a hyperbaric chamber. And once he mastered the art of getting past one player, he still wasn't satisfied. He began theorycrafting on how to get past the second and even a third. And the thesis that he wrote still remains at the university. It's been archived and passed down to the juniors ever since. But dribbling wasn't the only thing Kaoru studied. He would try to get an advantage in everything he could as a footballer and as an athlete. He spoke with the head of his department, who was also an Olympian hurdler, to gain tips on his sprinting technique and increase his pace. 
He studied nutrition, body preparation, and recovery to help him maximize his performances. And when he entered into university, he was skinny and a lanky kid. So in order to fill his body out, he reportedly, on away trips, would fill his suitcase to the brim with food. And this wasn't sloppy bulking up. He consulted with other experts on campus on how to perfectly sculpt his physique to suit the rigors of becoming a professional footballer. And by the time he was done with college, he took the University of Tsubasa into the round of 16 of the Emperor's Cup, which is basically the FA Cup of Japan, where they allow teams from every single division of the J-League to participate, but they also allow college teams. Yeah, his college team got to the round of 16. A pretty insane feat at the time. And upon graduating, he would go pro for Kawasaki Frontale in 2020 and would be the first rookie to reach double-digit goals since 2014, which was enough to get him on the radar of Brighton, who made a move for him in 2021. His move to the Premier League came with a little fanfare outside of Asia, costing a measly 2.7 million pounds, which seems like an absolute steal considering the recent 35 million pound evaluation in his flirtation with Arsenal. But his Premier League debut would have to wait as Matoma was loaned out to Belgian side Union SG for the 2021 season. And this is where he would give the world a little preview of what was yet to come. As a Belgian teammate recalls, in Matoma's first training session, they knew that this kid had something special. From his first touch, he was electric, toasting their first team center back three times in a row. The defender got so frustrated that he just ended up taking him out on the fourth attempt. And he would go on to show this sparkling talent in spot duty for the Belgian side. But none more dramatic than in a game that was maybe the worst case scenario that a player can be thrown into. In a match where Union went two goals down and had a man sent off, the manager threw on Matoma at halftime. All those years in that hyperbaric chamber had come to fruition as the pace and technical ability was on full display. Absolutely roasting defenders all game long. It was a sensational performance from the young Japanese. And given only 45 minutes to make an impact, what did he do? Oh, nothing really, just, you know score a cheeky hat trick, and inspire his team to a 4-2 comeback. Yeah, two E's. Literally, he looked a class above in this game, gliding past defenders like he was playing FIFA on beginner, and his calm, deft finishing in front of net would have his teammates liken him to Thierry Henry and how both would just nonchalantly pass the ball into the far corner of the net. He was simply too good for the Belgian league. And after netting seven goals and four assists coming off the bench for Union SG, the Japanese international would have to go ahead and answer the next big question in his career. Could he put on such a show in the most physical and athletic league on the planet? Well, he would get his chance as he returned to Brighton for the following season, where he began the first half of the year mostly on the bench, coming in as an impact sub. In fact, he only made one start the entirety of the season before the World Cup break. He still wasn't fully trusted, and who could blame him? Overall, he hadn't played much professional football, let alone Premier League football, which many of the world's best youngsters come in and struggle their first season there. But impact performances eventually caught the eye of the manager, especially with the departure of Graham Potter to Chelsea, the new manager, Roberto Deserbe? Deserbe? I don't know how to say his name. Apologies, I'm American. But Roberto Dees Nuts took a liking to the Japanese. And after an excellent showing at the World Cup, Mitoma was given the chance to start after the winter break. And to say that he seized on these opportunities is a little bit of an understatement. He has quickly become one of the best wingers in the Premier League, ranking in the top 10 in expected goals and assists. Just ask the likes of Liverpool, Chelsea, and top of league Arsenal about the man with a PhD in dribbling, because he has schooled the likes of Ben White, Trevor Chalabon, and Trent useless on defense Alexander Arnold. Matoma, with a diploma, has just embarrassed some of the best defenders in the world with the Pythagorean theorem of skills, blistering pace, and slaloms. His college training has definitely paid off as his wiry frame has filled out. Using those sprinting tips that he got from his teacher, he's able to burst past some of the most pacey players in the world. And his Spider-Man-esque agility allows him to weave through defenders in a near messy like fashion. And of course, his graduation thesis is on full display every game, as the ball seems almost supernaturally stuck to his foot. You combine all these factors, and Mitoma has become a complete nightmare to mark. He has the pace and acceleration to run right past you, but also the agility and close control to turn in any direction almost instantaneously which has allowed him to easily find space. And given the opportunity, the Japanese has displayed a variety of deadly shots. From his now patented pass into the far corner to cutting inside and curving at top bins, he has been living rent-free in the minds of Premier League keepers ever since the World Cup. And it seems like every week, Mitoma is just putting on display something new that he's added to his arsenal. With the P-State resistance, this goal to knock out the cup holders, Liverpool from the FA Cup, watch this goal back in slow motion and tell me that this doesn't belong in a museum of modern art. A first touch more gorgeous than any IG model on your timeline. 
and then the processing speed of mind and the cleverness to go ahead and take a touch inside doesn't just sell Joe Gomez. It sold the cameraman and then the conist to actually rifle this home into the roof of the net with two defenders closing him down. This is near pornographic levels. The man just seems two steps ahead of everyone else. He has gone full Sharon gone on the pitch and he cannot stop scoring at the moment with seven goals and 11 starts, including banging in a goal each of his last three games. And he can even do it with his head as he netted this late winner in dramatic fashion in his last match. Now, is he the Asian Messi? Probably not. And I'm gonna pour a little bit of cold water on the hype because he is an older prospect. He's at the age of 25 and his window to improve is shorter than most. He hasn't played much professional football because he opted to go the university route, but that could be a plus. With even more experience against professional players, he could possibly increase his levels to above what we've already seen. And I would argue that Matoma's greatest attribute actually isn't his dribbling, it's his work ethic. Remember, he was not a naturally born genius at dribbling. He only reached this level after he graduated university and through hard work, dedication, and yes, studying his ass off, he was able to hone his skill from a mediocre level to a world-class level. Karu Matoma is living proof that Asians can literally study their way to anything. And I would bet my left testicle that if there is any player on the planet that will dedicate every molecule in their body to achieve their full potential, that man is Karu Matoma. And if he continues on this sparkling trajectory, he has a chance to someday become the greatest player that Asia has ever produced. And I mean, he's already a legend in the eyes of Brighton fans. Although at this rate, he won't be at Brighton for long because there are very few teams in the world that couldn't use a Matoma in their side. He's good in possession, springy in the counter, and has an excellent work rate as a presser. So he can fit into nearly any modern system. Top of the league, Arsenal has already been sniffing around, and a team like Barcelona could definitely use a left-sided winger with his skill set. But, 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 let's not get too far ahead of ourselves. For now, let's just enjoy the sensational run from this humble nerd from the land of the rising sun. And yeah. Remember kids, sometimes it pays to stay in school. And that's gonna be story time for me, the fat Asian. Hope you guys did enjoy. If I can humbly ask that you go ahead, take your hard rec nibble smush into the like button right now. Only takes you a second, but it helps me infinitely in this godforsaken algorithm. And of course, I'd like to thank all my patrons keeping me alive and well, keeping these videos coming out regularly. And until next time, boys, stay thick.